the way that I use Hypothesis and JSTOR in my class, I encourage them to ask their questions, to engage with their classmates in a very conversational tone. Um, I did encourage them to focus on one particular annotation to show me what, how they're learning, uh, to ask any questions, things like that, that, you know, directed toward me. But then I encouraged them to just freely annotate. So this gave them the power to really uh, control the conversation. And it allowed them to draw on the areas of interest to them and to dive deeply into those articles in a way that was comfortable for them and that focused on the areas of interest to them. Where we meet one hour, you know, three times a week, I don't have 100% of their focus all the time. As we're talking about things, I realize that there are all kinds of distractions that are occurring and there's, you know, there's internal distractions as well as external distractions. So they're not necessarily catching every single thing that we're discussing in the class. Whenever they are able to annotate, then they have complete focus because they are, they are annotating at a time that is right for them. They have the time to set aside and their focus is there. So by letting them annotate um, or encouraging them to annotate, um, I've got their focus on the details. Anything that is confusing to them, they can make a note right there at that moment. And that really helps to identify their points of confusion for me um, or points of interest. Um, there's also the opportunity to add additional information. So you can add a video or you can add another article or something that will help to um, clear up confusion or add to that conversation. So for example, uh, last semester, a student had mentioned an artist who does work um, that has a particular disability that we were talking about. And Bri went and found an example of that artist's artwork and added it to the article where the student had referenced it. So it was like an immediate where you could not do that in a classroom easily, unless a student held up a phone and said, hey, look, I found the art. Um, it's right there. So students who came in later and read through had that same experience as if they were seeing it at the same time as the other students were. So I love that that ability to maintain that discussion, almost like it's in real time, even though it's not and it's tied directly into the material.